My spiritual father said it this day. When we had a meeting, he said he was preaching, preaching, preaching. And one man stood up and said, It is not me. It is not me. But he was speaking in Venice. Asin, asin, asin. not me. So everybody was saying, Oh, it was me. Asin, asin. Who did what? It's not me. Asin, so. It's not me. We began to question what is it that he was saying? What that is it that this man said? So he was Mula. telling us that message. Now we are Question your heart. I don't know if you're hearing that. I get the value. So uh, whatever you are doing in the church, you are communicating. You don't communicate only to the one who's preaching. Even to God. Even to God. The Bible says Paul, Bible says Paul was preaching. Narera. To a, I mean, I mean, when he was busy preaching, and he looked Jerera. around. He saw this man he was crippled. And the Bible says, he looked at that man. He sees that he had faith to be healed. Because, in other words, this man was listening attentively. And Paul might have said, God, Paul nothing hinders you. To to heal this man. Man. I don't know if you're hearing me. Our thoughts. You don't know that many of us will minister by thoughts. Not, not by what we are talking. When we are looking at you, we might be ministering to you when you are not known. Because more so in spirit. I don't know if you're hearing me. So when we are looking at you, I'm hearing this person this. I began to say, Lord, uh, help this person. In my heart. <laughs> Lay hands on you. It's formalities. Many of you here have already prayed for you. You don't know that. God bless you. So, before I pray, let me take one or two minutes. Sorry, Mama. Let's take, come, with my little girl, come. Go ahead, stand there. Go ahead, stand there. Stand there. Before I stretch my hand to that woman, I have already prayed for her. Number one, I know what is going to happen to her. I know. What is, when, when she's standing like this, and I want to, can you see what is happening to her? That is why you find that it's not an issue of stretching your hands. That matters. No, it's the formalities. Already, already if she's standing like this, and I don't know this woman, and when I look at her like this, according to me, already I've, I've already prayed for that woman. You understand what I'm trying to say? Amen. So already, so you can see, that is why if I bring you here, come that also. Is why I'm I, if I bring you, stand there also. The moment when you stand like this, can I, can I, can I know, know in my heart what is going to happen. It's happening to you. Already. So you cannot be laid hands like boom. As and this thing happened. No. Many Amen. of us we we'll do these things here. We know what is going to happen to you when we are telling you to come. I don't know if you are hearing me. I mean, even this service. Okay, go, go sit down. Thank you. This service here. We know this service before it comes to happen here. You don't know it. Because. That is why sometimes here, that is I'll, I'll come you. here and look at you because I didn't see me praying for you. And I see me calling Andres to come. As Andres, Andres to come now. I want Mikana to pray shan. for you. But because I didn't see myself doing that, Mara I want to do it. Ka you have to be led to do things of God. So, so many many of you, you, you determine yourself by God to come here. It's God who brought you here. So we must rely in Him again for you. You, you see me standing like this. I'm looking at you. 
I know what has already happened to you. I know. Already God has touched you already. So, this, it has got nothing to do with experience. Because we, the Bible says we work out our salvation every day, isn't it? So, it's something of every day you live for God. I told my people here that our silence doesn't mean that we don't know. Our, if, if you can see me as being silenced, I've been silenced for many years. That doesn't mean that I don't know. My silence here, you come and sit here like this, sit here with your wife, and I'm looking at you and I'm speaking with you, but in my heart here, I say, God, do it. Some of you, you hear God say, this man, is about to die. He said, no. Lord, he, he, he can't allow it. There was a time I was standing here, I heard that this man here, I still want to kill him now. I said, no, it won't happen. Nobody will die in this house. And, and he's still alive even today. And he's still alive. And he goes through all, 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 all. But David was saying, okay, he won't reach here. Yeah. But I won't come and tell him. And and say, oh, you know what? Because I'll frighten him. You understand? He will come out of faith. We are, we are not called to, to destroy you or make you fear. We are called to edify you. The Bible says we are the edifier. You know what is edifier? It's not a subtractor. <coughs> we, we, we are there to edify you. Your faith when it's small, it must become big. Okay, God bless you. How many of you learned something here? You have learned something? God bless you.